A bustling city in Fujian Province, China, witnessed an engineering marvel as 1,500 workers came together to construct a railway station in a record-breaking nine hours. This rapid project connected three major railroads to the newly built Nanlong Railway, drastically reducing travel times and boosting connectivity in the region. With a meticulous plan, advanced machinery, and a highly skilled workforce, the construction began at 6 p.m. and concluded by 2.20 a.m. the next day. This wasn't just a simple build. It involved precision track laying, advanced signaling systems, and robust electrical infrastructure, all executed with military-like coordination. How did they pull off such a complex feat so swiftly? China, a nation known for its rapid technological advancements and ambitious infrastructure projects, faced a growing problem. With a population exceeding 1.4 billion and cities expanding at an unprecedented rate, efficient transportation has become a critical need. Existing railway systems were becoming inadequate, leading to delays and congestion. In response, China embarked on an almost impossible project, building a new railway station in just nine hours. This monumental task took place in Longyan, a city in Fujian province. The goal was to connect three major railways, the Ganlong Railway, Ganruilong Railway, and Zhonglong Railway, with the newly constructed Nanlong Railway. This connection would streamline travel routes and significantly reduce journey times across the region. The project wasn't just about laying tracks, it involved upgrading the infrastructure to support high-speed trains capable of traveling at 200 kilometers an hour. This would cut travel time between major cities from several hours to mere minutes, boosting economic activity and improving the quality of life for millions. The operation commenced at 6 p.m. on January 19th. By 2.20 a.m. the next day, the railway station was complete. But how did they do it in only nine hours? The project aimed to connect three major railroads to the new Nanlong Railway in Longyan, China. Achieving this in such a short time required extensive preparation and a comprehensive plan outlining every step. The planning phase alone took several months, with engineers and project managers meticulously ensuring every detail was accounted for. Prefabrication and modularization were key to the project's success. Much of the work was done off-site, with various components prefabricated in factories. These components were then transported to the construction site and assembled swiftly. This approach reduced the time required for on-site construction and minimized disruptions caused by weather or other on-site conditions. Prefabrication also allowed for higher quality control as components could be manufactured under optimal conditions and tested before installation. On January 19th, at precisely 6 p.m., construction began. A workforce of 1,500 highly skilled railway workers was divided into seven units. Each unit was assigned specific tasks carried out simultaneously to maximize efficiency. The units included teams for track laying, signal installation, electrical work, and heavy machinery operation. Heavy machinery played a crucial role in the project. A total of seven trains and 23 diggers were deployed. The diggers, including excavators and bulldozers, cleared the existing tracks and prepared the ground for new track installation. These machines operated in precise coordination, removing debris and leveling the ground to ensure a stable foundation for the new tracks. The track laying process involved several critical steps. First, the ground was prepared with layers of ballast. Ballast, typically made of crushed stone, provides stability and drainage for the tracks. The ballast layer was carefully spread and compacted to create a solid base. Next, concrete sleepers were placed at regular intervals. Sleepers, also known as ties, support the rails and maintain the correct track gauge. Once the sleepers were in place, the rails were positioned. Each rail section was aligned with millimeter precision to ensure a smooth and safe ride 
for high-speed trains. Workers used specialized equipment to secure the rails to the sleepers, ensuring they were firmly anchored. This process required careful collaboration to prevent any deviations that could affect the train's performance. In addition to the track work, the project included the installation of advanced signaling systems. These systems are vital for managing train movements and ensuring safety. Engineers installed new signals and a series of traffic monitoring equipment. This involved laying cables, setting up signal poles, and connecting the signals to the central control system. The signals were tested rigorously to ensure they operated correctly and were synchronized with the train schedules. The signaling systems installed at the station were state-of-the-art, incorporating the latest technology to ensure safe and efficient train operations. These systems included Automatic Train Control ATC, which monitors and controls train speeds to prevent collisions and ensure smooth traffic flow. The signals were connected to a central control room where operators could monitor train movements in real time and respond to any issues immediately. The construction of the Nanlong Railway Station involved the use of advanced machinery and equipment. This included automated track laying machines, which could lay tracks quickly and accurately, and hydraulic cranes, which were used to lift and position heavy components. The use of such machinery significantly reduced the time required for construction and ensured a high level of precision. The tracks laid for the Nanlong Railway Station were designed to support high-speed trains traveling at 200 km an hour. This required the use of high-quality materials and precise engineering. The rails were made from hardened steel designed to withstand the stresses of high-speed travel. The sleepers were made from reinforced concrete, providing a stable and durable base for the tracks. Electrical work was another essential aspect of the construction. The new railway station required a robust electrical infrastructure to support the high-speed trains and the various systems within the station. Electricians laid high-voltage cables, installed transformers, and connected the electrical systems to the national grid. They also set up backup power systems to ensure uninterrupted operation in case of power failures. Throughout the construction process, real-time communication and coordination were crucial. Team leaders used radios to stay in constant contact, coordinating movements and addressing any issues immediately. This ensured that the project stayed on schedule and that any problems were resolved swiftly. Safety was a top priority throughout the construction process. The workers were equipped with the latest safety gear, including helmets, gloves, and high-visibility vests. Safety officers patrolled the site, ensuring that all safety protocols were followed and that the workers were using their equipment correctly. This attention to safety ensured that there were no accidents or injuries during the construction. The construction site was a flurry of activity, with workers and machines moving in a well-choreographed dance. Excavators dug trenches, bulldozers cleared debris, and workers laid tracks and installed signals. The entire process was meticulously planned and executed, with each step carefully timed to ensure maximum efficiency. Despite the rapid pace, safety and quality were not compromised. Strict safety protocols were in place to protect workers and ensure the integrity of the construction. Regular inspections and quality control checks were conducted throughout the process. The prefabrication of components also played a role in maintaining high-quality standards, as these could be thoroughly inspected before being transported to the site. Finally, by 2.20 a.m. on January 20th, the new railway station was ready. This incredible feat was achieved through meticulous planning, advanced technology, and exceptional teamwork. The workers' expertise and dedication, combined with the effective use of machinery and real-time communication, ensured the project's success. The construction methods employed were informed by experience from previous projects. China has a history of undertaking rapid construction projects, and the experience gained from these previous endeavors contributed to the success of the Longyan Railway Station upgrade. The project team could draw from lessons learned in past projects, refining their techniques and strategies to enhance efficiency and effectiveness. 
This accumulated knowledge and experience were invaluable in navigating the complexities of large-scale construction projects. The new Nanlong Railway Station stands as a testament to what can be achieved with efficient planning, skilled labor, advanced technology, and streamlined processes. The rapid construction of this station has significant economic and social implications, enhancing connectivity and accessibility, promoting economic growth, and improving the quality of life for residents in the affected areas. If you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.